a great class, everybody. And I shall see you after. Yeah. Okay, so I'm tired today as well, so don't be feeling sorry for yourselves. I pushed my body to its max this morning on a 5k, so uh, we will be suffering together. All right, so no feeling sorry for yourself. Okay, so we're going to start standing. So bringing the band around the thigh area. Okay, those are the bands that I've ordered. As I said, I ordered them last Sunday. Say generally five to seven working days. So hopefully I'll have them by kind of Monday, Tuesday. And once I do, I'll send out a message to everybody who's ordered. And um, I will get them to you this week. Thanks, God. All right. So bring the band around the thigh area. And I want you to just bring the legs just slightly wider and hip distance apart. So bring the hands up towards the ceiling. As you inhale, squatting down, bring the arms up to the ceiling. Exhale, coming down. Inhale to reach up. Exhale to come down. Inhale, reaching up. Not going too deep into the squat just yet. Inhale to reach and coming down. For four more. Three. Two. Last one, reaching up. Very good. From there, guys, go a little bit deeper into the squat, so widen the legs. Again, lower the bands if they tend to roll up around the thighs. Coming down to your squat position. That's why I've ordered these other ones, because they generally stay on your thighs. So go wider with the feet. The rubber bands are generally cracked. Okay? Coming down to a nice deep squat and holding here. Bring your hands onto your chest just to bring awareness to where your upper body is in space. We want a long uh, spine, so not leaning forward, no flexion of the spine forward. Nice and tall, sitting down, close your eyes here, feel the pressure into the feet, and feel your full feet, both feet engaged with the mat. Breathing into this position, squeezing the glutes. Feel the hamstrings firing up here to support yourself and the quads also. Feel it where the knees are in space, make sure that they're not drawing inwards. Push against the band and hold that deep squat. Breathing into it, we're going to pulse up and down for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Bring the feet a little bit closer. From here, guys, you're going to squat down, and then you're going to bring your right leg up to kick your backside, squat, and bring the left leg, and alternate. Very good. Well done. Get the heart rate going. Not already. Ask your run. Good. Halfway. Just slowly, or just mind the knees as you're doing this position, guys. Be in control of that leg lift as you're bringing that heel to your back side. One more, and bring it back to center. From here, guys, we're going for a side lunge. So bringing your right leg into a lunge position and coming back up to standing. Lunge, back up. Okay, staying on this side. Using the resistance of the band, pushing into that band. Good. Well done. We're going for high repetitions of these this morning. Okay. Just feel a little bit of extra burn. Halfway. Well done. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Okay. Stay with me. Make sure the full foot is going down on the floor. Okay. Two to go. One. And coming back up to center. The other leg that's on the floor, so the one you're lunging with, that full foot is down, but also this foot is completely uh, planted on the floor, okay? Get your position with the lunge first. Make sure the toes are in line. Coming back up, nice and long. And then lunging side. Good. Breathing, guys. Don't forget to breathe. Inhale on the up, exhale on the down. Really feel the glutes activating as you push into that foot, the landing foot. Very good. On that left side for me. Pushing down, squeezing that glute halfway. Well done. 
eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Very good. Bring the feet back underneath your hips, guys. Okay, we're going to jump out, squat, jump in, squat. Out, squat, in, squat. Okay, out, in, out, and in. Good. For five, four, three, two, and one more. Well done. Just shake the legs out for now. Okay, from here, I want your hands behind your head. Take a big breath in. <laughs> okay, from here, you're going to squat down. And then what I want you to do is lift that right leg. Rotate your elbow of the left arm towards your knee. Bring it back down. Squat. Up, lift, rotate, and squat. Good. Okay. Again. Don't worry about the bands. If they start riding up your legs, you want to do. Why these other ones I've ordered are really, really good. They stay on your legs. As I said, the rubber ones tend to roll around your waist before you know it. Okay, 50 for the standing leg series. For 10, 9. Really kind of crunching with those abs. The obliques firing. Well done. Four, three, two, and one. Lovely stuff. Okay. From here, guys, we're going to go again into a side lunge position. We're going to hold here. Okay. And we're going to just come up into that where our foot is planted, come up into a nice long line, and then go back in. I want you to feel into this lunging leg, holding here. Straighten up slowly, push into that band as you lean into that leg. Meet the resistance of the band. Exhale as you come down. Coming up. Exhale as you come down. Well done, everybody. Hope everyone's okay. Push away. Good. If there's any problems, just send me a little message on the Zoom. I'm not getting into my check. I'm going to install a message from the group. Good. One more before you can talk to me. Get back in. And holding back in the line with your hips are slightly wider, guys. And lunging into that opposite side. Holding it here. And then coming up nice and tall. So hold it for two or three seconds. And then back to standing. Lunging. And up nice and tall. Good. For three, two, and one. Very good. Okay, wide stance with the legs. Just uh, wider than hip distance apart. And coming into a nice deep squat. Okay, from here we're going to just push, actually bring your legs a little bit closer. Push your knees out and in. Out, slowly in. Out and in. Out and in. So really pushing against the resistance of the band to bring it back to that initial position that you started with. Just be mindful on the inward mo motion that you don't fly back in and irritate your hip. So control the eccentrics of the movement coming in. Control going in. Okay, don't let them fly in. Three, two, one. And coming back out. Shake it out. If you have a lighter band, I suggest you swap over, wrap it around the uh, shin area, okay? And if you hear someone screaming, it's just Tom. Okay, so we're gonna, sorry, we're gonna do side steps. So I'm just gonna show you what we're doing. So we're gonna side step for four. Okay, just watch for now. When you get to the fourth one, you're gonna squat, open your tippy toes, Squat for four, okay? 
and then we're going to go the opposite side okay so we'll start together the four steps to the what's to the right for me make sure there's resistance on the band before you start okay and you keep that resistance at all times so step step to the right and bring the left leg back to where it was okay the constant resistance for two more one more staying where you are with the resistance on the band squatting down we're reaching up to ceiling up onto your tippy toes Feet flat on the floor as you squat. Reaching up, tippy toes for two more. One more. And then hands on the hips, go on the opposite way for four, three, two, one. Hold it here. Squatting and reaching. Squatting and reaching. Good. One more. And for four, we're going to keep with the walks now. And go to the left. Three, two, legs are straight, guys. Activate the glute. We're going to do a good few of these. Your hips will be on fire. Staying nice and tall, keep the abs strong here. Try not to stick the bum out. No duck arses here. Tuck the pelvis slightly, squeeze the glute. Keep going. Not easy. We're nearly there. A couple of more standing series and then we're onto the mat. You should be burning right now. Three, two, one. Up and down again twice. Last one. Four, three, two, and one. Woo! Okay. So standing onto your left leg. I want you to just extend, sorry, extend the right leg out slightly, okay, and elevate it. We're going to just do pendulum, so you're going to lift the right leg out and bring it back. Lift it outwards, straight leg, bring it back for eight, seven. If you need to bend the other leg, do, just to take some pressure off the hip. Otherwise, try and keep the leg straight and strong. Three, two. One, swap legs, okay? Right leg standing, straight leg, up with the elevated leg, and we're going out and in. Pendulum, eight, seven, six. Try not to move too much to the upper body, okay? There shouldn't be any moving to the right as you're extending that left leg, okay? Control, use your balance. Proprioception, really important. One more. Bring that leg down. Coming into a split lunge position. So the left leg is slightly in front. And I want the right leg, I want your toes of your right foot just slightly in line with your, your heel of your left foot or slightly behind, okay? Your legs are hip distance apart, okay? We're gonna inhale to extend back. We want a straight leg with that extended leg. Bring it back, forward. Like a running motion, push into that band as you extend back. Bring it forward. Use your arms if you want. We're doing a good few of these. You want to really squeeze the glutes as you extend that leg back. Okay. Well done, everyone. Bring the arms into it if you can. Opposite arm goes forward as that leg comes forward. Okay. Five. Four. Three, two, and one. We're going to swap over, right leg in front, left leg slightly behind to begin, okay? We're going to extend that left leg back, nice straight line, okay? So no bend in the knee. You need to go into that extension to get the glutes firing, okay? Bring it forward, back, okay? You want a strong stance to that bent knee in front, pushing into the front, or into the foot of that front leg, Really digging that heel down, activating the glutes, draw that belly button to your spine. Abs are still active here, guys. They aren't switched off. They are controlling this movement in your, your pelvic region, your torso. It's stopping you from rotating too much. You want good strength through that core, good control, so you don't fall on your face. Okay? Four more. Three, two, and one. Okay, very good. Okie dokie. Coming back to standing. 
wrapping the band around your feet, okay? I'm not sure if you can see it. So it's around the arch of my feet. I'm actually standing on the band, okay? I want your hands either on your hip or in front of you, whatever, whatever you feel comfortable with, okay? Hip distance apart. And we're literally gonna start marching with our right foot. I want you to drive it up and then bring it back down. So lifting it up to 90 and lower, okay? Okay, I'll do side, line, side standing, lift and lower. Okay, again, you can introduce the arms if you want. Fire the hip flexors as you lift. I want a really strong lift, okay? Toes pointing up, not pointing down. It will help maintain the band where it is as well. Keep going. Good. Three, five, four, three, two, and one. Excellent. Okay, we're going to do the opposite side. Okay, when you're ready, standing on the other leg, get your balance right. Lifting to begin, bring it down. Lift and lower. Okay, sorry. Lift and lower. Good stuff. Nearly there. Stay with me, we're going to hit the mat now pretty soon. After this one, five, four, three, two, one. Last exercise on this one, and then we're done. Okay, so I want you to march the legs, okay, really driving them up both sides, alternating. Okay, last little bit on the legs, and then we're hitting the mat. Three, two, and one. Wide stance with the legs. Hold on. Oh my God, put off. Wide stance with the legs. Make sure the band again is around the foot. And we're going down to our squat position. Hands in front of our chest like a prayer like position. And breathing into it. Grandma, I hope you got back in. Breathe. Go up and into it. And just breathing in and out. Inhaling in through the nose and exhaling slowly come up halfway and come back down. Up halfway and back down. Up and down. You're not coming all the way up, guys. Three, two, and one. Hold, pulsing for ten. Nine, say your prayers. <laughs> Keep the knees out. Two and one, slowly come back. Okay, so you can keep the band, get the strong band, and keep it around your thighs if you want. All right, because we will be introduced next to right the next couple of moves. We are going to stand at the end of our mat to begin. Okay, so take an inhale here, and on the exhale, I want you to bend your knees, place your hands onto the floor. And walk your hands forward, please. We're going to take an inhale here. Exhale. I want you to bring your bum to ceiling into a downward dog position. Bring it back. Bend your knees and walk your hands back, please. Okay. Up the standing. Downwards. Hands on the floor. We'll be marching forward with those hands. Into plank position. High plank. When you're ready, walk the hands back this time. Slowly and control, please. Back with the standing. Two more, please. Coming down. It's a great way to get the heart rate up even higher. All right, hold. Bend the knees and walk those hands in controlled. Good. Back with the standing. One more, please. And marching forward into high plank. And holding. We're staying down here now, guys. Anyone with the bands on? You're going to hate me for it. We're going to bring our left leg out, bring it back. Right leg out, bring it back. Left and right. Keep the legs straight. Maintain your nice plank position, guys. Keep alternating until I say stop. And right. We're going for four more. Four, three, two, 
One, bring the legs back. Bring yourselves into a downward dog position. Take a breather. And come back into plank. Bend the knees. And we're going into press up. Wide stance with the arms, please. And I want the let knees back if you can. Bring the thighs down towards the floor, chest towards the floor. We're going for 15. 14. Positive. Stay with me. 12. 11. 10. 9. As you notice, the reps are getting longer. We used to start with 10. Now we're up to 15. You're getting stronger. There's no point in staying with the same. I'm sure the odd time I add on a couple more by accident, like probably now. <laughs> Four, three, two, and one. We're going to go back into plank position, please. Bring your hands out in front. Extend the legs, one and the other. Okay, make sure you've got good grip. From here, guys, we're going to bring that left knee in. Extend it back. Or right knee in. Back. Left, back, well done. Stay with me. I'm gonna go for six more. Five, four, three, two, one. Bend the knees. Back into press up position, please. Same stance as the last time, so wide with the arms. A little bit easier. We're going for 15, 14. Well done, guys. Just focus on your breath, please. If you're struggling. Try and stay with me. Last 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Just going to shell stretch for a second, guys, before we go on to our sides. We're nearly there. Okay, if you need a sip of water, take it quickly. Bands around the thighs, lying onto your left side. Okay, long line with the body. Rest your head down. We're nearly there. We're on the home stretch. Okay, the hardest bits are over, I feel. Okay, lift and lower, please. Again. Bring an awareness to the side part. So activate the sides. Remember, you should be able to fit at least two hands under here. Okay. Keep it strong through here. Draw the belly button to spine. So our abs are always thinking for us. They're always protecting us. That's what they're there for. Okay. We're nearly there. You might hear Tom shouting my name, by the way. <laughs> Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> he doesn't call me Randy, he calls me Kate. Okay, we're gonna go for three, two, one. Hold the leg and align with your hip. We're gonna draw a lovely circle in front and then bring that circle all the way behind. Drawing a lovely rainbow over and back. Over and back. Over and back. Well done, everyone. Try and go like get, meet that resistance of the band. So try not to kind of draw a straight line over your leg. <laughs> Push into that band as you lift that leg over and back. Okay. Well done, everybody. Okay, we're gonna go for two more once I hit the front. This is your last two. Last one. And then just bring the knees into a lovely bent position. Keep your glutes fine. Number two. <laughs> And relax your head down. Okay, bring that leg up in plan position. Your knees are bent and your feet are directly under your back side. And again, hit, hit the belly area, make sure it's active and make sure your side is active. Okay, we're going to lift and lower that top leg for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, one lovely stuff. Okay, straighten the legs out. Last exercise on the leg here. Lift the leg up and we're going circles forward for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 
three, two, one, and back for ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. One. Woo! Anyone that has those blue bands, I'd say you are feeling it big time. I give you welcoming those green bands whenever they arrive. Okay. Actually, stay on that side. Sorry, sorry, my bad. Stay on that side that you just worked on. We're coming into side plank. Okay, full side plank on the elbow. So bring the top leg in front. We're going to go up into a nice long line. I like to bring the top leg in front because it brings that hip forward. Instead of having it rotation back, okay? Make sure your elbow is directly under your shoulder of the lower arm, okay? Kind of reach in under and bring it back for 10. So nine left. Good. Eight, seven, six. And push into that arm as you're reaching under to bring the hips up a little bit. Get a deeper activation into the side. Two, last one. Lower down. Swapping sides, please. Start with the legs. And then we're going on to the abs. Okay, so nice long line with your body. Make sure your shoulder, hip, knee, ankle are all on one line. Okay, lift and lower that top leg. You need to bend the lower leg, that's fine. If you're quite bony on the hip area and you find that you can't balance. Bend the lower leg a little bit to keep that stable. Okay. And again, bring awareness to this waist. Okay. Breathing in and out, please. Just keep going with those legs. For another six, five, four, three, two, one. Hold the leg here. We're going over and back. Over and back. As you bring the leg back, try not to push too far forward with your um, stomach area. Try and keep that tucked and strong, okay? We don't want to feed into the lower back. So ideally that kind of mid-lower spine area does not move forward as you bring that leg back, okay? Keep the abs engaged, control that. Last two, last one, well done. Bend the knees. Okay, so knees stacked and ankles under your backside. Again, activate the side. It's something that I have to remind myself to do as well, so I will be reminding you constantly. Keep the abs strong. Five, four, three, two, and one. Straighten the legs, please. Lift that top leg. Circles forward. For 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. Go small with your circles, please. 2 and 1 and back. For 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2 and 1. Smack that booty. Well done. No week for time. We're good. Half an hour in. Okay. So, five line position. Top leg forward, elbow underneath your shoulder. Three, two, one, and lift. And release that arm, please. Stay strong. Make sure your elbow's under your shoulder. We're going to reach in under. And release. Reach. Push into that elbow that's on the floor as you reach under. Push into that elbow. Lift the hip. Breathe. Five. Four. Three. Two and one. Releasing down. Good job, everybody. Okay, we're going to go for our last few exercises. Abs. Close abs. You can keep the band around the thighs. Okay. Release the body down onto the mat. And I want you to bring your hands behind your head, please. We're going to take an inhale here, and on the exhale, I want you to roll your pelvis into imprint. And I want you to slowly come up into an ab press position. You're going to inhale. As you inhale, release your pelvis. I want you to push your hips up towards the ceiling and bring your head down, lifting the rib cage. 
Exhale, roll the pelvis onto the mat. Imprint, imprint, and then lift your head. Inhale as you roll the pelvis away, so bring your hip bones towards the ceiling. Lift your ribs up towards the ceiling. And then exhale, roll it, imprint, and lifting your body up. Inhale to release the pelvis. Rest your head down. Exhale, roll it, imprint. Gives you a deeper ab crunch. Inhale and exhale. Inhale to release. Exhale. Keep the legs apart. Give your band on. Push against the band, but those legs should not be coming together. We're going for two more. One more. Anyone that needs support under their head, have it there handy like a pillow. If you feel that your head is dropping off the face of the earth, so if your neck is in an uh, extension position, you should have like a neutral position with your chin, okay? You should be able to kind of have a nice three angle with the chin. Okay, from there, maintain imprint position and bring one leg to tabletop and the other. All right, bring the space with the legs, so hip distance apart. We're going to bring the toes towards us. We're going to inhale, exhale, bring our right foot down towards the floor and bring it back. Feel the resistance of the band as you push that leg away and the other leg pushing into the band to stabilize. So your legs are kind of pulling and pushing against each other. Good. One is acting like an anchor, whereas the other one is moving through this resistance. The other leg is trying to stabilize. Kind of fighting against each other. So keep working. Maintain the position of that standing leg. That stays at 90. Okay, don't pull too hard against the leg that's moving. Breathing. Stay with me. Hold on, guys. Last two. One more. Bring the leg back into tabletop position. Hands behind the head, take an inhale here, exhale to lift up into ab press position. We're going to extend our legs and we're going to bring them out, in and back to 90. Extend, out, in, back to 90. Reach, heart, back to 90. Staying up in ab prep at all times. Good. So support your head, so your head is fully rested into your hands. We're going for four more. The lower down you go, the harder it is. Two, maintain your imprint, so don't go too low if you start to lose imprint. Last one, bring your head down, bring your knees into your chest. Take a second. There you go, just bring the band around the feet, okay? So around the arch of the foot. And um, if you have your kind of medium strength band, do. If you've got the really tough blue one, I'd say change it if you can, okay? Bring yourself back into our prep position, legs at 90. Pull the bands apart, okay, so there's resistance there. I want you to push your right leg away. Pull your left leg towards your body. Push your right leg further, push, push into that band, and re-pulling against the band with that bent knee, okay? Holding here. We're gonna take an inhale, lower the body down, keep the legs as they are, exhale to rotate. Open, inhale, exhale, rotate. This is a deadly one. I love this one. Well done. A lot of activation going on here. Every bit of you. Four more. Three. Two. One more. Bring the legs in. Just give your body and your lower back a rest for a moment. If anyone's struggling with that, just keep the legs in tabletop position and uh, just work with the obliques, okay? So keep the legs at 90, don't push the other leg away. So coming back into our prep position, extending that other leg straight. It's almost being supported by the band as well at the same time. Okay, inhale, elbows back, exhale to rotate. Inhale to lower, and rotate. The lower down, rotate, good. Breathing in on the down, exhale on the up. We're nearly there, guys. Four, three, two, the last one. Brilliant stuff. Okay, bring the knees in again. Woo! 
Keep the balance of the arm. Hands behind the head. You're not on your own if you're hurting, okay? Completely, completely normal. Okay, inhale, exhale, extend the legs straight if you can. Bring them up higher if, it, if you need to. And we're going to pulse the bands away from each other for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Bend the knees. Throw the bands away. You're done with them for now. Okay. We're just going to do two more ab exercises and then you are good to go. Okay. So. What I'm going to get you to do is take a breath in, bring yourselves into imprint and bring both legs back into tabletop position. Hands are going to go wide, okay? Legs and ankles are stuck together, so your knees are stuck together as well. And your hands. Okay, we're going to take an inhale. On the exhale, rotate the legs to the left side of the room. Rolling back through imprint, back to center. Exhale to the right. Rolling back into center and moving to the left. Keep your head, eye line looking straight up. And keep your spine, every time you come back to center, make sure your lower back is connected with the mat. So you're rolling back through imprint each time you roll back into center. Okay? Well done. Stay with me. Three more. Two. And last one. Stuff. And for the last one, actually hands down by your side, sorry. Hands down, we're going to bring our knees into our chest and then bring them slightly away, just past the hips. Bring them forward towards your chest and then push away. Bring the knees slightly past your hip line and then bring them forward. So your lower, the very lower part of your spine is slightly lifting off the mat, sacral area, part of the lumbar, small bit of the lumbar region. And bringing this is the last lab exercise, guys. Knees in, push away. Look for four more. Well done. Three more. Two. And last one. And bring your feet down to the mat. I always like to finish with bridging after I've done abs just to open up the um, front part of the body. Okay, so hands down by your side. Feet your hip distance apart. And we're going to inhale, exhale to lift our pelvis up off the mat. What's doing is it's opening up the hip flexors, everything that we've just shortened. I'm giving it a kind of a nice stretch, okay, but also activating the posterior chain. Just try and balance the body out, okay? Inhale to stay, exhale to lower down slowly. The last one, and then we'll do a tiny bit of stretching, okay? And lift up, please. Resting on the shoulder blades, okay? So no, I want the lower, so the, the bottom part of your shoulder blades should be on the mat, okay? No resting on the neck. Coming down slowly, please. Inhale as you lower down, exhale to feel and lift up. Inhale to stay, exhale to lower. Inhale as you roll your pelvis away, lift your chest, exhale to feel and lift. Good. Inhale to stay, exhale to lower. Inhale, exhale and lift. We're going to inhale to lower, bring it down to two breaths, inhale, lower down, and exhale to lift. Inhale to lower down, keep coming down together, exhale to lift. Good. Inhale to lower, and staying up on this one, walk your heels a little bit closer to your back side, and just come up onto your tippy toes of the right foot. And then the left, alternating, sorry. So bring the other foot down and then lift the other one when you're ready. So one heel comes down, the other heel lifts, okay? It wasn't very clear there. So alternating feet, one heel comes up, the other heel goes down. Not like you're marching at your feet, okay? Okay, three, two, one. And the last one. We're going to inhale, reach our hands up onto the back of the room, keep the hips up. 
and then exhale to lower the body down onto the mat. One breath at a time, extend your leg. Usually one at a time, reaching our bodies away. I want to exaggerate the arch of your back, your back of your spine, okay? So lifting your ribs towards the ceiling, opening up the chest and lengthen up through the abdominal region and the pelvic region, okay? Point the toes, reach the arms away, breathing into it. Try and breathe as deep as you can. Inhale, exhale. Take breath in as you lift the ribs. And as you exhale, soften the ribs down. Open all that air out. Two more, inhale. We're reaching those fingers and toes the other way, as far as you can go, and then exhale. Last thing, one more. And on the exhale, go wide with your arms. You can slide on the floor, big circles with the arms, down towards the side. Well done. Bring your knees in towards your chest. What I want you to do is just rock on your spine side to side. Massaging the back side of the spine. Well done, I hope you feel like that. And then we're going to just go forward and back. Yeah, you can kind of lift your head a little bit if you want. Okay. And try and get a little bit deeper then. And then we're going to come back to the feet. Just don't knee yourself in the face, okay? And then back to the feet. Keep lifted and then. Well done. We're going to take the left leg out. So the right foot towards the uh, inner knee. And then we're reaching forward. If you want to use one of your bands, you can wrap it around your feet. Oh, sorry, should I say? And then pull it towards you. Okay? You want to do that either. If you're not able to quite make the foot area, it's a good idea to do that. And you can walk your hand down the band as you get a little bit more flexible. and. Then eventually, swap over, please. So try and open up that leg, the one that's um, <clears throat> bent, and then reaching down towards that foot. As close as you can go, don't force it. Okay? Well done, everyone. Nearly there. Two more stretches, and then you are free. Okay. So, I'll face you for this one. I want your left leg over your right, like so. So, your foot should be in line with your knee. Right arm over your left leg. And then looking over that off the shoulder. But don't just sit there. I want you to push that elbow into your uh, outer knee. Try and open up that uh, glute area, stretching that glute and hip area here on the outside. And look over that shoulder so you get nice spinal rotation as well at the same time. Lovely. And breathe into it. It's quite a difficult one to do because you're compressing like one side of your rib cage, so you're going to press in the right, but you're opening the left. So it'll be one to breathe into the left, but it's quite hard to breathe into the opposite. Just do what you can and try and breathe into it. You're kind of giving yourself a soft tissue massage by breathing into that up off the bone. And then we're going to swap over, okay? And then reaching that arm over and then looking over the shoulder. Looking over that off the shoulder. I want to thank people that have already done the 5K. Uh, best of luck coming with the finish tomorrow. We're on our way to 11 grand, I think, today. So it's open until Wednesday. So we could hopefully raise maybe 13 to 14, I think. All going well. Great. Really, really good. Okay, when you're ready, come standing, please. And go wide with the feet. Just leaning into that right leg. Left leg. Don't worry about uh, going too deep into this. Literally just to open up the adductors. Bring your legs a little bit. Bring your feet a little bit closer. Just slightly wider than hip distance. I want you to reach your arms up towards the ceiling and then leaning towards the right side of your body. Going down the ray and then rounding forward, opening up and coming to the opposite side. Slowly come up. Mind your back. You need to engage the abs as you lift that up. Inhale, stay. Exhale, rotating to the left. Reaching forward, head to the side. In front, the right, and then back around. Lovely. Okay. Reaching that left arm over. Release. Last one. Right over. And release. And then just let yourself hang. 
take a moment. Slowly come back up. Well done, everybody. Good class. I'm going to stop the recording.